Hello everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Fire Emblem 6. Yes, Japanese game that I uh, found a translation patch for. Uh, it's a great game. I have never really played it though, so... Uh, so yeah, hopefully I can do a decent job with this and uh, you can laugh along with me. Um, this part isn't translated, therefore I'm gonna fast forward. But yeah. Uh, this game has Roy in it, so that's awesome. The people of the continent, Elib, have been spreading technology and civilization for some time now. After the dragons had been defeated in the dragon-human wars. In the west resides the kingdom of Etruria, which has the highest level of civilization in Elib. The Kingdom of Burn, with a powerful military and a practical and pragmatic attitude about life, is located in the east. These are the two strongest nations in Elibe, and the lesser nations are located between them. There is the Lycian Alliance, which is under joint relationship of various dukes. Not the Duke of Hazard, though. Thank God for that, because that would just be messy. Whoa, what just happened? Something just jumped on my screen. And we'll continue. Oop. And we'll continue. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, people in the north cultivating land, snowy. In Sake live various clans which through the plains... Yeah, that's grammatically incorrect. That doesn't make any sense. You cannot witch through the plains on horseback. But anyways, that's what you get with the uh, Japanese translation. <clears throat> Although there were occasional clashes between nation-states, there was a general sense of balance of power and peace in Elib. However, that balance was suddenly disrupted. Oh man. Skipped another piece. I'm so sorry. Burns' forces invaded Sakei and Ilya and mercilessly massacred all those who stood against them. Or as it says there, against them. Once again, translation. It's the best you can do. And now, Burn has shown signs of invading the Lycia Alliance. A youth named Roy was in Lycia's largest territory, Ostia. And Roy is the reason why I'm playing this game, because he was like my second favorite character in Melee. Anyways. He was sent as a transfer student to train to become the next Duke of Ferre. Fera, E, Fera, Fera, whatever. However, Elliewood, who has fallen ill, has sent for Roy to return home. And Elliewood is the main character of Sacred Stones. Just around that time, Lilina, the Princess of Osia, had traveled to Lycia to pay her respects to Elliewood. After getting the message, Roy hurried on his way back home, taking with him his loyal knights and boars. A knight from Ostia, responsible for Lilina's safety. The story begins when Roy had reached an area just on the outskirts of Ferry. Yeah, here we go. Fire Emblem 6. The Dawn of Destiny. Doesn't get much more epic than Dawn of Destiny. You can try, but it's not gonna happen. Boss! The residents of the castle have hidden themselves inside. Huh, <laughs> even Elliewood, the greatest knight in Lycia, can't beat an illness, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you were right when you said... You were right when you said there wouldn't be many soldiers around here because they're... getting ready to take on Burn. Of course. Who do you think I am? But you never know when reinforcements are gonna come. Alright. Right. Kill off the guys in the castle while we still got time. Then the treasure is all ours. That dude is greedy. Greed is bad. <laughs> Castles ain't the only places with treasure. Let's go ransack the villages and get some loot. Oh boy, that's bad. That that's immoral, actually. Master Elliewood, the bandits from Bull Mountain are attacking us. I see. Blast. If I weren't in the state, I would teach them a lesson. <laughs> That's him coughing. <laughs> Mr. Alleywood, 
Lilina, you must hide somewhere. This castle is going to become a battlefield. Love is a battlefield. That's a song. Anyways. No, sir, I will fight too. No, you won't. Don't be ridiculous. If something happened to you, I wouldn't know what to say to Hector. Well, I predicted Hector. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that. It's my father, but... It's going to be alright. Roy should be almost here by now, so if we can hold our own, until then, we can drive off these bandits. Marlinus, I want you to send a messenger to Roy informing him of this attack immediately. Y yes sir Did ice to stutter? Just do it. Yay. Oh, wonderful. Oh, it's Lance. What's the matter? Why are you in such a hurry? Master Roy, bandits have appeared and are attacking the castle as we speak. What? Is Lord Hollywood safe? He's inside, defending against the bandits' attacks. But I don't know how long he can last with his illness. Excuse me, Lance, is it? Is Lady Lelina safe? Are you from Ostia? Lady Lelina is in the castle. She should be alright. As long as Lord Hollywood is with her. But he can't last forever. No. I shouldn't have let Lelina go to the castle before me. Lord Roy! Regret won't solve anything. We must recapture the castle. Walt is right. We must hurry. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's go. We're going to save those trapped in the castle. And here we go. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so a couple things. That's a village. You can save that by bringing someone there. The gate will close and then no one can like take it over. So you want to get there before anywhere else. Um, if you go to houses, you can get information, and every once in a while you can get an item. And there is this thing called the Weapons Triangle. Um, lances are good against swords, swords are good against axes, and axes are good against lances. So, what you want to do is... Um, you want to work out some sort of a situation that involves some sort of a bonus because if you have a sword against an axe like that you notice his hit is really low and mine is 100 so when you have that advantage it gets very hard for the enemy to attack and it's you know much easier for you to hit them with that but yeah so use that to your advantage whenever you can I highly recommend doing that um, what I'm doing right now is I'm attacking with this guy to weaken him. And I don't know how much damage my uh, archer's going to do, but they're hard to level up. So you want to be able to do um, some early damage so that you can build them up. Aw, oh, one damage short. But, um, yeah. Archers are really, really good and really important. Um... Because they can do ranged, so can mages and other magical people. Um, Marcus, this guy, he's a paladin. In almost every game, you start out with a paladin who's good, but they're not good later on in the game because you can't level them up as much. Um, oh, crap. Reinforcements already? But they ain't getting to the castle so easy. Well, that's not entirely true. Let's see. See, he missed. His hit percentage is kind of low, so it's... Not easy for him to hit. Yeah. And I don't know why he would do that. That's a bad idea. And he hit him. That's weird. That's not good. He shouldn't be able to hit him. Oh well. He did though. Luckily my guys are all a lot stronger than theirs are. But, yeah. So we're kind of running out of time for this episode. So I'm just going to really quickly show you... <clears throat> One thing that's really important is you want to go and save these villages. So it may take you a turn longer every once in a while to do that. But um, you want to try and save those villages because you can get items from them. You can get really good information. Every once in a while you can even get someone to join your team. Which is huge because, as you can see, we don't have that many characters. This might not hit, but it'll give them experience. Oh, it hit. But yeah, you want to try and get as many people on your team as you can. 
And although you won't use all of them, you can get other people because of that. And a, a, a bunch of different things can happen. And see, visiting a house. You, guess what? Money is important. If you don't have it, your weapons will rust. And you can't fight without your weapons. A little bit of advice. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. So hopefully you've enjoyed this intro. And uh, next time we will save a village and finish this battle. So this is Battle On, aka Tempest of Enemy Gamers saying thanks for watching and yeah, peace out guys.